Okay, uh, we are live with another episode, but, oh gosh, I, this is Marilyn. I realize I'm live, but I, I didn't get everything ready, so I gotta set the away screen on and go freshen my coffee, and, you know, ablutions. Okay, be right back. Here I am. I'm live. This is turn one. We're basically not going to see anything. Hey, negative. How you doing? Um, yeah, we're okay. Omniscience is where it's supposed to be, and the throne is where it's supposed to be. Okay, I was a little concerned that I got the map set up right, but I did. This method of putting omniscience in a invisible province is uh, still a little bit beyond my skill. But we'll get there. So I don't need to sit here on turn zero. So this map, yeah, so a zoom about there is probably kind of like perfect. Now I gotta, we'll see the nations here in just a second. All right. Now, so yeah, that's right. Machaka and Nipple High. Let's have a look at what we can see. Machaka has the Colossal Fetish awake already. Um, scales are actually fairly good. Those aren't evil. You know, those are, yeah, not in the, not in the, the Hellblast kind of scale zone. <laughs> the, the Pretender versus Pretender mon. Oh, God. People have been talking about that all night. And uh, I just got a little short with with somebody over it because I was like, okay, let me, I don't want to deal with this right now, but to sum up very quickly, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the duelists the option that if they want to make limitations, such as we can't do the mono drop in their own duel, they can go right ahead and do that. That's where I'm sitting right now. Now, uh, we'll see, because I don't want to impose limits on anybody because I didn't anticipate the monolith drop. How would I have guessed? I'm not a great duelist. But let's go on to Nippleheim here. So a Gija, I think he just bought that. We don't see a Pretender, and we see uh, not bad scales. You know, not in the crazy Hellblessy sort of stuff. Okay, and this is the Candy Lad. Which, you know, a different aesthetic kind of back. I'm not sure who did the art here. It doesn't look like any of the map makers I'm familiar with. It's not the classic Illwinter art. So it's something a little different. Okay, let's pop out. Another thing I've been making sort of in my routine. So let's see how their Indies independence look. Deer Tribe. That's nothing too much. Some more elephants, okay. Ghouls and soulless, uh, those can be easy or very hard. Depends on any blaster build. And lizard warriors are always a pretty tough expansion. Okay, time's up. Let's get the new turn. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, uh, okay, 
I got an answer question here. Okay, so here's the new turn. I just had to answer a question from one of the players, Dennis Leeds. Uh, not a critical question, but important about the map. There is a thing where a province, uh, I think it was this one. One of the, yeah, this province isn't actually tagged as a forest. So that's kind of a bummer. And I did attempt to fix it. But when I went to override the map on the clockwork server, it didn't work well. Okay, so we've got some expansion. I guess I better drop out and drop back in. So the fetish took off. Look at that. Off goes the fetish. Take a look at it. Uh, I might not have time. I'll, I'll look at battles after. So he got rid of the elephants, but then, well, it's size six. So elephants are really no trouble. And what have we got here? Okay, I think that's just starting army, I believe. Maybe not the bird clan. I'm not familiar with exactly what Pachaka's starting army is, but... And then Nippelheim went out with starting army. He's clean expansion. So there's no sacreds here. He's bought himself a... Oh, Niffle Giants. Okay. Yeah, that's not a Yarrow yet. Yarrows are very expensive. No, we don't need a research restart for that one tiny little map problem. If I had mucked up like I did a couple days ago by leaving um omniscience here right beside somebody and destroying their candles yeah <laughs> we'd want to restart okay let's have a look at this fetish okay, air shield so what's it got oh it's a rainbow more or less that's interesting so he went for if you take threes in all the elemental paths you get a blast for only three and then he took four in nature so that's a uh, like a rainbow, but you actually get a really stupid, tough, yeah, protection 25. Ah, huh. okay. Now, this thing is a cons, it's an inanimate, is it a construct? It's mindless. It's mindless. Uh, that's funny. Anyways, oh, turns up, so I'll get my new turn. Okay, so he probably bought those bird archers. That was his addition to it. Because we saw the bird the bird clan archers. These are in addition. Or well, it says bird clan archers. So anyways, whatever. Looks like it's just a little different from your comment. So we got another one. Easy enough. Niflheim starting army is just chugging away with good old Jotun warriors. So they're both doing fine. I mean, I'll do my maintenance tidbit, just so I don't hold them up. Well, it's kind of awkward that Omniscience is over here, as far as I have to scroll my screen every turn. Whoa, he's going straight beeline to the middle of the map. Let's run in there and get the chokes. What about here? Okay, he took a bit of a pounding there. So I'm not too familiar. It doesn't look like these guys are anything too special. I should also put up a linky. Yes, sir, I should put up a linky. Bum, 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 bum. Well, sorry about the brief echo there. I was just doing a little maintenance-y stuff. Well, there's not a whole heck of a lot. So are these things anything interesting? No, they're just plain old charcoals. And lion tribes have the big long spear, so that's not too shabby. Very low protection, but a pretty decent shield. 
So more or less kind of like the famous Zulus. Although that spear is longer than the than the spear of the MP. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, and I don't think the, uh, the, the fetish. Now let's look briefly. What have we got? Provinces? Okay, research. Ah, okay. So Machaka got a nice bit of starting research because he took magic scale. He took magic three. So he's decided to actually use magi to research. Not like a lot of people have done their pretender. He did a comprehensive compilation of starting armies for reasons. Well, it's useful. I mean, if you wanted to have a discussion about which are decent researchers, you could. Um, okay, this. Okay, I need to not be on here anymore. And I should just toss up a couple of little advertisements. There's one other place I'm going to toss this. Yeah, I think that's good. All right. Um, kind of want to see. I doubt there's anything really very interesting to look at here with Jotun's method. Should be very straightforward. He's got great big honking giant javelins. So hopefully he's throwing them. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, personal regeneration. Ha, he used his gems to cast personal regeneration. That's kind of bizarre. And he did, nope, he did not throw his javelins. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, it's kind of a shame he didn't throw his javelins. Those big giant javelins are worth throwing. Okay, their turns are up. So I need to leave and get the new turn. Oh, we've got the fetish is moving along. But Jotun did not expand this turn. Very fine. Okay, he just moved to uh, change his position a little bit. Because he didn't want to try the soulless. And he's building more. He's got some giants. Okay. Now, do these guys have profits? Nothing much on the Hall of Fame so far. Oh, okay. The Machakan Prophet is in the Hall of Fame. And Machaka has gone back to collect some more basic troops. Fetish, okay. Fetish is heading this way. So he didn't go straight for the center. He's going at something different. And I'll do my little maintenance trick. Well, not a lot to see here. Turn, what are we at? Turn five. But Machaka's doing well on the expansion. So he's keeping his research going a little. Ah, Yolton's got some basic research. Um, just, they did expand with, they expanded with the fetish, but Niflheim did not expand this turn. So the fetish expanded, and I think Machaka's prophet is back here collecting fresh troops. I'm not sure if these guys got scattered. It's single bird clan, yeah, that's remnants that got scattered. A Shambler chief. Well, well, well. It's kind of interesting. So he's going to try to take the water. And those are plain dagger tritons, it looks like. Not tritons or the shielded spear guys, which are much more dangerous. Yeah, if he's found Shamblers here, he should be able to take this and get in the water. And that's just basically a bit of free gold. See, over here for Jotun... Now, he doesn't know this, but that would be pretty nice to get some extra gems. Both of those. These guys, though, that's amber clan. So that's not something your average um, typical nation can do. Although, if we look at Niflheim, he's got plenty of water gems. So there's no reason he can't do water breathing and then get a Yarrow down there or something. It's all quite valid. 
and da 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 and nothing too much nothing too much Okay, we got a new turn. Oh, two expansions each. Nice. Okay, so Machak is expanding with a basic army, a voice of lion, Machak of warriors. Okay, very, very generic. And he took out the lizards without a trouble. So is he tossing out a little research here? Is that how he took the lizards? Oh no, he's using his sacreds. Okay, there we are, Lion Warrior. Let's see his blast. All right, uh, Machaka's blast. And let's write this down, because that's always fun. So let me write down the blast. Um, we have, this is Machaka blast. We have Shock Resist 10. Poison Resist 5. Fire Resist 10. And Strength. Two, 50, and Forest Survival. That's just his leftover point. Okay, there we go. So that's pretty straightforward. There's nothing much here to increase the killing power too much of these Lion Warriors. And before I watch this, I need to quickly pop out and pop back in. And then let's also take a quick look. So we've got just the starting army open warriors. Ah, oh, we've got a couple of Niffle Giants and a Goad. So we should be able to see the other blasts here. Give me a second. Let's... Did he get a blast? Ooh, did he hit it? Yes, he did. Okay. So, Niffle High and Blasts. So far, just magic resistance plus three. Okay, the rest of it is probably incarnate. I'm going to guess. And the pretender brothers. Okay, good stuff. Uh, so, the giants are basically... Just big piles of meat right now with Chillora. Do we know why Niffle did not... We don't know why he did not expand this turn. Might be just to collect another army, but he just did a double expand. So, um, maybe get a beachhead in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that might be. There's various options why. He might have just decided that the Indies were best dealt with. My guess is, if we look at the map, it's a positional thing. He didn't really want to move his starting army way off out of position and deal with Ghoulis and Solus right now. He'll deal with them coming along. The other thing is, it kind of looks like he doesn't particularly need more production right now. This, you can know, kind of undead with um, a mountain is going to be very low population. So very poor gold. The resources would be useful, but if you don't need the resources. And then this province here is a swamp. So again, very poor gold. So he probably grabbed the forest to get resources and then said, I want to grab things with more gold. You know, this one here. But he hasn't got any really juicy gold provinces. And now he's actually got, you know, mountain passes to deal with. He's already got his cold shifting. Should turn on the candles here. It's always helpful. So on the graphs, expansion. Okay. So it's early enough that neither of these are an issue. And 
that Niflheim has taken a decision to delay some of his power by going dormant or imprisoned. I'm, I'm hoping dormant, because imprisoned, the game will be over before it ever comes out. I mean, we have not yet seen a game. Well, we do have some games that look like they might be going into the turn 40s and 50s. But most of the duels have been far shorter. A lot of them are ending easily by turn 20, some by 30. Okay, we've kind of covered all of that. Dum da dum 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 dum. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, my Jack is still working on his script. Got to dump a big monolith on him? Well, nobody took a monolith. Nobody took an awake monolith, so we're not going to see that in this one. And as far as, uh, there's been a lot of discussion overnight on comments on my YouTube, as well as in various chats about the whole thing of the monolith drop. My response, and I'm going to stick with it, I'm pretty sure, is I'm not going to rule about it. But what I have decided to do, and maybe I'll just write that down here so that it's clear. But what I've decided to do is if duelists mutually wish to not allow it, they are welcome to set their own limitations. And there's another simple solution. If you pick a map where the capitals are too far apart, then it won't work. So it looks like this one, this candy land, it won't work. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, see, this one's like exactly one province too far. Uh, Neef has low dom. Yes, they do, because their pretender's not out. And their prophet's running around. Well, I agree, Panze, because I didn't anticipate someone would do it. And I don't, I didn't want, I mean, one of my goals is to leave the rules as loose as possible so people can try whatever they can come up with. And as we play this, and as we see more duels, I think we'll see sort of things kind of shake out. And maybe there'll be a consensus on, you know, the players don't want this. They don't want that, but. Yeah, see, there's other options. Um... I think there's counters. There's been some discussion that certain nations would have just chopped that thing to death. Uh, it might be it's a uniquely troublesome issue for Scalaria. Uh, so far, we've seen Scalaria has not done well twice. I'm not convinced Scalaria is a great dueling nation. A lot of people seem to think it is. But I'm quite open to being proven wrong on that. So, Machaka, okay, so he's taking a little attrition here. The Lion Warrens are holding up well. They're pretty tough, and as we discussed, his blast isn't really doing anything for that against independence. Um, let me see. So, from the fetish current province to these mountains, I mean, these ones in 23 there, Rail, there is a connection there. No longer current. Oh, the previous turn. Uh, there is not a connection across there. Is that? Uh, did you make this map? Real? Is this one of yours? Should I got it open here? I think in Notepad. Does it tell me who made it? Uh, no, the author didn't comment. So I'm not sure who made it. I think I had to find this one on the workshop. And then muck about. It looks like this map could use some clean up. I could see some issues here. Yeah, there should be a, should be a connection here. 
it seems to me. But I just did a count here, and as, as best I can tell, this is too far for a monodrop on this map. I get it as seven. I mean, I'm only doing a hand count, so. From the mountains that Neef just took, um, it's not your map? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one came from the workshop, and it's somebody whose nickname I didn't recognize now that I think about it. It doesn't look like the kind of art you typically have used in the past either. With your maps. There is a six province link. Okay, so you could mono drop on this map. I counted seven, but maybe I didn't count the shortest way. It's the shortest way. It looks like one, two, three, four. Ah, you're right. Five and six. Yeah, so this one you could monodrop. If you wanted to. But nobody took the monolith. Or at least, if Defline took the monolith, it sure as heck isn't awake. Uh, I'll do my little maintenance. I don't want to Now... Um, so this is two giants, and as we saw, there's almost no bless on them yet. A little bit of attrition, and the fetish is just whacking everything. A curious thing will be, let's have a look and see what the fetish has for... Oh, he's got flying shield already. The Buddha Buddha. Okay, and what else has he got? Breath of Winter. Oh, okay. What else has he got for buffs? Sulfur Haze. Oh, he's doing a caster kind of maneuver. Last time we saw this was Satis in... Satis, oh, and a little bit of move forward. Okay. Does he have enough shock resist? He's hurting himself a little. And he took an affliction, a limp. Interesting. Yeah, there's this protective force. Fire blast. Yeah, he's a little short on shock resist. Only five. Did he throw a bark skin? It's like he did. Okay. So, various... Various, uh, did they get the Shamblers? Did you see the Shamblers? Is he making the Shamblers? Uh, hmm. Well, he made a Shambler Chief, but he may have Shambler Chiefs, but not Shamblers. <laughs> well, there's various ways to rush. Um... He rushed it with Helheim, so he just rushed it with high speed. Yeah, there could be a self stun. He could, he could have some trouble here. His shock resistance is a little low. Okay, I need to exit. Recoup works on the fetish. Yeah, the fetish is interesting. I also notice it's mindless. So, okay, we got three expansions by Neef. Do my maintenance. So, what do we got here? Let's see. Well, his starting army still has 13 of the original 15, so it's... Oh, he's got Shamblers now. That's kind of tasty, and this looks like an easy water province. Just help things, yeah. <laughs> okay, and here, the two deep giants with Jolten, Wa Jolten Warriors. They're doing fine. And the Pretender will not be out yet. He's got Gijas. So he hasn't bought any Jarls yet. At least I haven't seen any. Whoops, this one failed. A single giant against Amazons. Okay, that was just too small. I wonder if he had some buffs with the Gija. Oh, she's pretty far back. Personal regen. Yeah. No, that giant without any other... And it didn't get blessed, but... The bless isn't particularly going to matter. Well, that was an expensive error. 
He'd have been better off to just skip the giant, leave it at home. Because you really kind of want to use these chill auras stacked. Oh yeah, right. It's an eight. Thanks, Casas Belly. You're right. I didn't look at that. Got a lot of things I'm trying to watch over. So that was pricey. Because these guys cost, I believe, 150 I could check it, but I'm probably not going to bother. So that was a costly one. Yeah, that would have gone better if you just had more warriors and skipped the skip the giant. Because without its blast, I'm not really sure if it was me, I don't think I'd be buying any giants yet. I'd just be pumping out ordinary troops, ordinary giants. Because his blast isn't online. So. That would be me. Now, Machaka. So you've got the Lion Warriors pretty much on their own. They're doing pretty good. And, uh, oh, where'd the fetish go? Did, where's the fetish? Oh, did the fetish go home? Where'd the fetish go? Oh, there it is. Okay, Mr. F fetish is just moving about. So he didn't take that with the fetish. Hmm. Okay. I wonder what he's... Maybe he's searching. Burial Mound. Okay. Not much for sites. Let's take a quick look at gem income. I'm pretty sure he's waiting for his pretender to wake up for the Incarnate Bless. And if I was doing that, my, my belief or the way I would do it is not buy giants yet. And just stick with his ordinary troops. That would be how I'd do it. Because I've done, you know, dormant incarnates with a few different giants before. And I just don't bother buying them until I need them. Uh, the last one I think was Fomoria. But then I'm not totally sold on Fomoria giants at the best of times. He might be sight searching. Or he might be position. Um, see, I don't remember if the fetish can go in the water. Being a construct, it might be able to. But here's the new turn. Okay, so that's a plain expansion with ordinary dudes, just lion warriors. And what do we got here. So the starting army is doing just fine. So this kind of highlights that 15 or so Yoten warriors can do most things. Yeah, the giants are not going to be great on the uh, on the offense. I agree. Um, so we'll see. And again, like I said, I would be trying to stack the chill auras by using more than just one or two. Or just not buy them for a while. So I'll pop out and pop back in. So nobody has attempted to cross here. Oh, okay. So there's a crossing this way without doing the river. Lion Warriors are pretty good counter to the Nef Giants with their Stun Club. Okay, well, I should look at these guys more closely. I have not played Machaka in uh, an extremely long time. I think not since Dominions 3. Spirit Club. Oh yeah, and they hit hard. How's their attack? Uh, good stats. And these guys will get better with experience. So we talked about his Bless, a very defensive Bless. The only offensive part of this bless is the little bit of strength. Somehow or other, low light vision and forest survival. Well, I guess that's that's probably nature three. So I guess that's it. Yeah. But these guys do hit hard. Okay. Um what else we got? That's about it. Is the fetish the fetish is still here? If he is sight searching, he didn't find any. I don't see a lab yet. So I'm not sure if yeah, I'm not sure if um what we're gonna see from the fetish at this point in time. I guess we'll see. Relatively quiet turn. So, they are clearing the way for most of the... See, this should be invulnerable, and to balance things out... Oh, oh, this is not the right... Oh, well, 
It's not the version of the map I intended to be up. It will do. There's something funny in... I uploaded... I, I thought I overwrote the map that's on Nataraj. But it looks like I failed there. Definitely looks like I failed there. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we're cooking. We are cooking. So we're just waiting on Majaka for the next step. Might be time for me to get another coffee. Yeah, I'm going to take a brief moment and go get a coffee. I won't be holding them up. Oh, well, glad you made it, Cast Spelling. Um, just to clarify this, you know, so far my best streaming time is fairly early mornings, my time, North American time. I'm in Mountain. So this kind of 8 o'clock till noonish. Typically I have to nap at around noon, and then I have been streaming in that mid-afternoon to early evening but I go to bed quite early. So, so those are my decent streaming times. Over the weekend, we had so many uh, duels going on at the same time, I could only stream a, a small amount of them. But I did stream, what, three, six or five, something like that. It was a lot of streams. And then I also realized that for some of them, oh, they're waiting. I've got a new turn here. So let me go get the new turn. There we go. Okay, we get a lot of expansion by Jotun. Significantly less by Majaka. He's still solidly moving forward with the Lion Warriors. Do my little name strict here. Let's see. So, Neef. Oh, so he went and took out the ghouls with four Neef giants. And I think if we watch this, See, ghouls are not immune. Yeah, the long dead, the soulless, have cold resistance. Ghouls do not. And I don't think soulless really can touch the Neph Giants. So we should see chill really working here when you start stacking it. Yeah, so the chill is working really well on the... Uh, when you start stacking the chill auras. Yeah, nap time is a good time. Yesterday was a marathon, I agree. Um, Lucid's hours this weekend were quite bizarre for him. What's this? Oh, a... Is that the Gija leading it? Oh, it's a Gija. Okay, so she's passed out. She should be fine. couple of the solace are coming at her but oh and they got the commander so the solace are just melting away okay that was easy enough now his other one so that's the two needful giants with seven okay they've been chewing along steadily and he is flanking down around this way and that is the start army see look at that it started at 15 it's now at 12 and it's an turn. Uh, 
Oh, look at that. They bumped. They definitely bumped. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. So that's over here. Oh, look at that. It's Majaka standing there. Space hustling is a full-time job. I've never tried that star sector. I looked it up. I guess it's still in beta or alpha. It's not very expensive, so I might look into it. And it looks like you can only buy it from the from the developers right now. So let's see what happened with Machaka and the independence. Well, no trouble there. Yeah, easy peasy. What's this guy? That's just a single Machaka and spear. Okay. And that guy is on guard commander, and this is the prophet. Yeah, that prophet's got a heroic battle prowess. And not the greatest result on the prophet, because I doubt that he's going to have his prophet stabbing things. Okay, so I think we've seen what we want to see is this. Now, it was Cassus Belli, right, that suggested the Lion Warrior should absolutely smack the senselessness. And they have enough cold resist. Yeah. So, okay, it's a pretty solid counter. Whoa. So that guy took, what, two hits? Six and eleven. No, he took four hits. Spirit strike and spirit club. Oh my. <laughs> okay. This does not trade well for the Niffle Giants. No, sir. That does not trade well for Niffle Giants. Plus some smite. Ouch. Bowser. So that's two giants. Insta-gibbed. Insta-gibbed. And then the warriors just get dead. So what were the... Oh, I didn't... I wanted the battle report. So what were the final results? Two of the warriors got away. The gold got away. But the giants just did not work. So we should have a look here. I'm going to look at the costs here. Just for my own. Uh, I need to exit and come back in. There we go. So let's look at the costs here. Just to review. Machakas. That's not them. Here they are. So these guys are 40 gold a pop. Okay. And Nif Giants. Are 140 gold a pop. Hey. Howdy. Pontus. How you doing? Welcome back. So that's not a great trade. I mean, yeah, so 80 gold versus 280. Yeah, that did not trade well for an F line. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, look, bogus. <laughs> Poor bugger. Oh, that's always a nuisance. Bogus. Good old bogus. I don't know if you guys know the story, but supposedly from way back in Dominions 1 or 2, these guys, Bogus and his friends, is the old pen and paper party of Illwinter. Now, I don't know which game, because as I remember correctly, Ars Magica was the role-playing game that was a big inspiration for Dominions. That was not a good trade for me. It was not. No. And it doesn't look like there's going to be a good trade for Neef if he continues to use Neef Giants. Well, Machaka took one look at that and said, I'm going to keep going. I mean, what the heck? Why stop now? I want to roll. So, oh, there's the fetish in the water. Look at that. Let's see how he pulled this off. Did he have to make himself a goodie? He did. Okay. And a fear helmet and a little bit of speedy boots. A little reinvigoration. So nice. 
Ars Magica. I believe that was the role-playing game that some of the mechanics for this came from because the mechanics of Dominions are nothing like a D20 system. Um, they remind me somewhat of hit point and protection systems from a little bit like RuneQuest. But the armor penetration method and the other one is the exploding dice rolls. Did the dormant pretender awake? Let's have a look. A monolith. Well, we could have a monodrop. Who knows? <laughs> okay, well, now we can see what his full bless is going to be. So that's going to change some things. Now, here it was just a little bit of PD. So this is some giants that looks like maybe headed towards the barbarians, but might be redirecting. This should give us a chance to have a look at his full bless. Uh oh no hold on a sec did he not bring where's his blesser no blesser oh, oh no way why is there no blesser well i guess oh this is the he pretty much finished this one off but still it's a shame i wanted to see the bless where the heck is his prophet over here that's a hearse Okay, there's the prophet. Oh gosh. Alright. I have to do my turn, new turn. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, the lion tribe don't trade well with the huge PD dump. <laughs> Definitely not. That was costly. That was quite costly. Now, do they win? I know, no priest and four giants. Yeah. You know, that's, uh, what are we at? 540 gold. Um, it didn't get blessed. Yeah. Well, Machaka killed all that PD, right? Unless I'm missing something. Okay, so I'm getting that at 30 PD, I believe. It's pretty pricey. YouTube emotes are hard. You can't get the emotes you want. I have no idea what emotes are available or what are good or whatever. So here's another 17 lion tribes, lion warriors, heading, flanking the other way. Oh gosh, and now the fetish is in there. So let me do my math here real quick. So I've got 30 times 29 all divided by 2. So that was 435 gold of PD. My quick and dirty math. Can I show the PD amount? Uh, I could show you the numbers. I believe that's 30. I think you get one fur ball each. And one Jotun Bondi for each one over 20. Yeah, pretty sure that's 30. So 435 gold was my quick and dirty calc on the cost. Um, okay, let's see if we... Well, there's a hearse. So here's the profit. Let's see if we can get his blast. That's what we really want to see now. Okay, here it is. All right, so let me go type out the bless in full. So this is the full neath bless. Is MR plus three region B bond fortitude. Ah, okay, so that's a pretty serious bless. That is definitely a pretty serious bless. And it's a monolith. So he started with his standard pass of astral, nature, and earth. And then he added blood. So he added blood to his monolith. Now, before we watch this, I need to do my exit and come back in. So I do kind of... Uh, let's just review. That was trivial. That was trivial. I've already kind of seen the fetish. Can the fetish take this? And does the fetish want to take this? 
It's a good question. Well, he's cleaning up bogus, and I hope he gets some loot. He's got a good chance of catching a good bit of loot here. Are they chilling it? They sh yeah, it's frozen already. Doesn't take long. You get those stacking. How big's the chill aura on these guys? A 10 chill aura. Yeah. So. And here comes Bogus himself. There's a good chance he collected a good bit of loot. He only brought two commanders. Oh. He's got himself a lion pelt already. I'd be putting that on my profit. Hopefully. But I think they just combined this turn. And Bogus is not asleep yet, but he just got stunned. And he's still not asleep. But he's going to die awfully soon. The loot from Bogus is, is awfully nice. Yeah, the loot from Bogus is awfully nice. It's got a lot of loot, but it's nice to bring, you know, more than just two commanders when you're fighting Bogus. Can the SC take the Chill Aura? Uh, it's got 10 Cold Resist right off the bat uh, in his own candles. He's pushing well beyond his candles right now. Let me make sure I've got candles turned on. So the fetish uh, is pushing way far deep. I'd be backing up a bit back into my own candles, but I can't tell which are which. It is possible this... Oh, yes, you can tell. No, he's in his own candles. He's in Buddha Buddha's Dominion. So let's just watch this. He should have the Dan Cold Resist. And he does. 15, actually. Mm. I'm not going to go out on a limb and... Yeah. His hit points... Interesting. Okay. He might have to go back to a lab. But if I'm correct in my figuring... But the cold is not seriously affecting the fetish at this point. And over here, he just got some PD. Fort sight. This one here. Yeah, he's got his second fort up. And looks like he might even already have it upgraded. Yes, sir, it's already a fortress. Looks like he's searching. Nope, that's just some archers. Whoa. Oh, he lucked out there. That's pretty good. Um, yes, he does have W3. So, look at the gem income. That's pretty sweet. Now, let's take a look at... Oh, research is getting fairly equal. So, Niflheim's doing pretty good. Um, provinces, yeah, there's a good advantage. But income. Okay. And forts. So, just the one second fort. Now, army size. So, a lot of things are very even. The question will be, how do the Lion Warriors trade against the Needful Giants? And here we have a few Needful Giants, and here we have a few Giants. He can totally bump his Cold Resist higher. Yes, sir. But I think he's well above where he needs to be to deal with Chill Aura, even Chill 10. Because if I remember correctly, the number chill 10 doesn't increase its ability to penetrate resistance but um yes he has been starting and stopping with the pretender so it's quite likely it's searching and i don't get to see his searches but he's had some good success so he's got forest of truffles and gem deposits and yeah lots of fun stuff Mage-wise, we're not seeing mage wandering around. Some witch doctors over here. More lion warriors. Let me make sure that I do my work. So, uh, 
neither of these battles really tells us anything. And nobody has tried to use the caves yet, which link in interesting ways. Hmm. Machaka didn't buy anything underwater. Just a little bit of PD. Oh, Pontus. Yeah, that's a good question. I'll put it up again. Put it up once already this morning, so let's put it up again. Let me dump the link again. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. There's the link and the tournament. Alrighty. I don't have more to say about this turn. So we just sit here for a minute. Here's a fun tidbit, guys. My viewer hours increased by 120% over the past five days. I was kind of impressed by that. I don't think he got shamblers. I think he only got the shambler chief. Like, I remember sometimes you get the Shambler Chief and no Shamblers. Uh, Niv did get the Jades, but I don't know if he really wants to temple up over there. The Jades were here because um, I'm not sure Jade Maidens get him anything. I mean, high-speed cavalry on a flank, but his Bless doesn't include Cold Resist, so they're not going to work at all well for him. So I don't think the independence, um, now maybe the, the Jade Sorceresses, that's nature and water, maybe, but they're going to be very vulnerable to the gold. I believe it's this one right here I'm holding on. Okay, new turns here. I'm not sure that he gains that much from, from them. Okay, the Fetish took the little PD. Lion Warriors. So they're raiding each other a little bit, but both are kind of dodging the major armies. Oh, Neef has a second fort up. He's got a Gija in there. Now, I need to remind myself what the paths are on Nephilim Gijas. Right. Death, nature, blood, and right. Okay. So they can also get Astral. A great mage. The duels and the juicy storylines. Well, they're livelier, plus there's a certain amount of the busier the chat gets, the more people stick around and the more people show up. So I had some really good success about a year ago with some stuff on Twitch, but there were some problems and I lost a bit of motivation and... and and I think I've mentioned, I'm not convinced Twitch is the right place for me. People have issues with YouTube as well, but technically, I find YouTube a lot easier to use. And the second thing is, I'm just not really into that kind of edgy culture of Twitch. You know, it's not really the Dominions thing and stuff. You're doing with Sablecat? Yeah. Well, there's been some really good ones. Um, most feuds so far is still Lucid. And that's not all that surprising. I mean, let's face it. Lucid has 6,500 um, subscribers. So. Yeah, the Twitch streams were cool. And some of the best ones were when I had multiple audio guests. And I'd like to do some more of that stuff. But uh, I learned some lessons. One, don't try to actually be playing in a blitz at the same time as you're talking with multiple people by voice and on text. That's just overwhelming. Second, it's better to cast other people playing than it is to 
just do your own stuff. And live is not the greatest option for that. It's better to, if I'm doing a let's play of my games, it's better to do those offline, edit them nicely, give them titles and music tracks. Live's a different beast. So, so I'm kind of learning what works. So, so yesterday we did something different, which was an after action of a duel with both of the players, you guys, um, jumping in on voice. Well, that was Sabblecat and uh, Dark Wolf. And that was great. It was great to have the players give their opinion on how it went. So it depends on how I structure these. I can either put Omni in and do them live, but then the players can't really be part of this chat because they'd be seeing each other's stuff, which wouldn't be fair. Or we could do after the fact. Both are valid. So I better do my quitting. So there's not a lot else to see. Let's just look around. Sites. Yeah, sites are still good. Let's look at graphs. Okay, so army size, very close. We had a dip in Dominion. That was probably an event. With the fetish running around, Machakas had more Dominion spread, but that's not terribly surprising. Interviews Dark Wolf after the Monolith came. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to want to do that. What was the word somebody used? Malting? Yeah, malting. Which I'd never heard of before. Mad and balding? Malding. Malding, not malting. That's pretty funny. Well, Machaka has a pretty big lead on provinces and the turns here. No, I don't think I don't think Dark Wolf is what it's gonna wanna talk over that one. I mean, he kind of came up with some options he had for counters after the game. But you know, there's a certain... Uh, you can take a morale hit as a player, especially when you're live or in a blitz or something, and then you just kind of go, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, and you fumble and dumble. Well, so... Leave and go back. And on the messages, oh, no fights anywhere. So I think you're right. I think the Buddha, the, the fetish, just stops, does a site search, and moves on. See, it should easily take these barbarians. Now, where are the Bajak and Lion Warrior armies? There's one here. There's one here. He's got an independent commander up over here. And a voice of Lion. So, he might be doing another fort. Yep, yeah, he's doing another fort there. He's already put up his lab. Candles aren't showing too huge. What's this over here? Voice of Lion. Okay, sight searching. And this is a Buddha. What's a Buddha? I've got to look this up. What's a Buddha? Lion Queen. Here's a Buddha. Oh, okay. Of course you can make silly mistakes in Blitzes. Or just, you know, you miss something because you're playing fast. And uh, that's part of the fun, right? Like, I've not been setting timers for these duels. That is, in my opinion, up to the players. They can play as fast or as slow as they want. Some are playing a few fast turns and then some slow turns. You don't think you want to take the barbs with the fetish? Maybe not. Maybe not. Some Atlantean militia. I don't see them. Which Discord in mine? Oh, stop beating up my Atlantean militia. Where are the Atlantean militia? I don't see the Atlantean militia. No, I'm not sure what Polter's talking about there. Yeah, there's no reason he can't jump here and get these tritons. That would be easy.
Oh, and there he did. Good prediction there, Johannes. That's exactly what he chose to do. So he's grabbing himself the money. You know, I mean, these two underwater provinces, 62 gold each. Minimal unrest. That's easy. Yeah, I saw that in the game Discord channel. I saw what you what you were talking about, but I don't know what he means. Because I'm not seeing Atlantean militia anywhere. Unless I missed it. Why is it not showing Johannes' messages for you? I have no idea why that would be the case. He's only written one so far, unless it's delayed. No idea. Um, I have not said any moder moderation in the Discord or in YouTube. Yeah. I got nothing. I don't know why. I didn't think people could come and, you know, type here anonymously or in secret or anything. Oh, did I leave the game? I did. That's not what I meant to do. Misclick there. Okay, we're back in. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so that's on your setting. Yeah, you want to be on live chat. Perfect. See, I'm actually reading the chat here in Streamlabs instead of in YouTube. Um, that's because I jump in and out of Streamlabs to be sure that I'm keeping an eye on volume mixing and any other issues along those lines. But I do, it turns out, um, YouTube does not really let me use replying by text here very easily. Oh, okay, there you go. Well, we've learned something new. Apparently YouTube put some filtering. Yeah, it does seem that that is true. I... <laughs> Don't ask me, guys. Don't ask me, because it's not. Oh, see, I've got Top Chat, too, over on my YouTube. Oh, some messages such as potential spam may not be visible. See, mine's set to Top Chat, but it didn't... Okay, well, I should change that to Live Chat. Just YouTube things. Huh. Okay. Well, I haven't had any spam yet on any of my streams. And if and when I do, um, we'll see about do I need a volunteer moderator or can I manage it on my own? Just depends on how busy I am. So far, I don't see much of a problem. Okay, let's take a look at graphs. So this is a pretty big economic advantage for Machaka. He's got about 50 to 60% more gold. He's got far more gems. Research is close. The Dominions isn't really relevant. Army size, well, that's probably not terribly relevant. But if I remember correctly, let's just have a look here. Lion Warriors are capital only. Okay. So if Niflheim could afford all of his candles worth of Nifl Giants... It's possible he could out sacred Machaka. All right, the turn's up. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Look at that, a bottle drop. And where did it land? Over here. Well, that's interesting. Isn't that interesting? And it's right beside the fetish. I wonder if the fetish could just wipe out the monolith. Well, we got a mono drop, guys. We got a mono drop. 
what the heck? Oh, Astral Shield. Okay. And it's got no blasts because it's out of its candles. What did it just cast? The Strength of Giants. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Mind Burn. Okay. I don't know why it cast Strength of Giants. That's kind of weird. And Panic Spam. Okay. Well, that's the same as yesterday with the Panic Spam. Yeah, more monolith action. But way over on the side. So I wonder if the fetish could just beat that thing up. It's got no resistances. I hate to say it, but I think the fetish is going to trash it. And he didn't bring any gems if he wanted to magic duel. Sniper Reno? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. All right, well, it wins. We know that. And the fetish is sitting right there. So the next turn is going to be pretty interesting. Let me pop out and pop back in. So where are the Niflheim armies? Right there. And that's about it. Protection 36, yeah. Ooh, good point, Sabuka. Good point. Well, now it's a defender. So, but on its initial... I mean, what's it going to do, though? It's never going to crack the fort, I don't think. I mean... Okay, let's have a look here. Let's see what the siege power is. Siege power at two. Yeah, so there's no way it'll ever crack the fort, so it's just going to sit there and destroy candles. I'm not entirely sure what... Uh, maybe he didn't know the fort was there. All depends on his scouting. But what's it going to do there? It can't get away. It can't make a lap. <laughs> maybe Jack is testing all the more. Well, I would think you don't need a counter. You just put the fetish on it. And the fetish blasts it to death. What's it going to do? They're both in eight counters, or in eight casters. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we'll see. I'm not going to try to outguess these guys. But Neve's army is way the heck over here. It's a great big, quite a good fort in its way. They could just fatigue each other out. Yeah, maybe they do. Maybe they do. I don't know. This monolith is stuck. I'm thinking he didn't know there was a fort there. And so I think he thought, well, I can land here, grab this thing, build a lab, and take off. Now it's stuck there until he brings siege power up. Good grief. Yeah, the monolith is now the defender, so that, you know, it, it won't die if it turn timers. Oh, my gosh. Is it worth it to fight the monolith? I think not. Well, except that that removes the blast, right? I mean, this is an incarnate blast. If you kill that monolith, that's a whole bunch of no longer regenerated Niffle Giants. Which is kind of nice. Kind of nice to get rid of that blast. The pass on the monolith? Yeah, hang on here. So we didn't bring any astral pearls. I would have brought some astral pearls. Just in case. <laughs> well, it's not quite the same, Loggy, Because he didn't dump it on the other guy's capital. And we are well past turn 12. So, I mean, it could do lots and lots of things, but what it's going to do without gems, I don't know. 
Regen, Blood Bond, and Fortitude. Yeah. Yeah. Regen, Blood Bond, and Fortitude. Ooh. So Machaka is cranking up the research in a big way. Well, it just seems to me that this monolith is sitting there basically unable to do anything useful at all. Um, he could buy scouts. He could start bringing some gems over to it. Maybe. I think he didn't know the fort was there. It's possible Machaka has shattered. Yeah. Or either way, it's possible that the monolith has shatter. Well, maybe he wanted to bait the monolith, but if he did, why not land on it in the water? If he can see the fetish and or see the fork. Well, I, if I was Majak, I would ignore the monolith because... With a siege power of two. Yeah. Yeah, I would ignore it. And see, I think that this army of Machaka is going to trash this army of Niflheim. That is my prediction. Of course, nobody gets any money if I fail on my predictions. My predictions may be terrible, but oh, Niffle's troops are way too far to help. Way too far to help. Two turns? No, I think he's a lot more than two. But anything at home is, yeah. No, he's got no fast route. He's got to get through these barbarians, and that's his fastest route. He's got very few troops sitting at home. And everything's concentrated in this one doom stack, which is a bloody long way away from over there. At least two provinces away. Okay, we've got some action. But I'm going to hold my suspense. I'm going to pop out, pop back in, and I'm going to look at this from the map. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. No, 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 no. Okay, quick predictions. Do you think he attacked it with the fetish? Because we can see that the monolith is still there. <laughs> and, oh, oh my gosh, where did the Machakan army go? Holy cow, okay, we've got some excitement here. Time to view some fights. And in this corner, we have Buddha Buddha, the colossal fetish. And in this corner, we have Tiernan, the monolith. And we have Astral Shield and Flying Shield. Let's zoom back. We have Liquid Body versus Iron Will. We have Moss Body. Versus Strength of Giants. We have Regeneration. Versus Curse. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We have Bark Skin. And Eagle Eyes. And Far Strike. And it's Reinvigoration of Six. And then what? What's this? Misform. And flying shards and twist fate. And far strike. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> ah, the suspense is killing me. Oh, it's that slow. And another far strike. Earth meld. Earth grip. Is this thing fatigued out? Not even close. Is this thing fatigued out? Not. Oh, its fatigue's pretty high. 
the heck's going wrong there? Okay, well, just casted too many spells. Earth meld. False fetters. Web. <laughs> the fetish is fatigued out. This is not good. The monolith is not even close to fatigued out. Shrink? Who shrunk who? The monolith gets shrunk. Nope, it's still size 6. Still size 6, okay. Wait a minute, what did I just see here? Okay, shrink. Earth grab, earth grab. Good grief. Okay, new prediction. This just times out. Yeah, new prediction this time's out. The fetish tries to run and dies. These guys aren't going to do anything to each other. They're just going to sit there trying to shrink each other. Oh, well, see, more of that would have done it. God, they do stupid things. Why is there not more shocking grasp? Why does it keep mucking about trying to shrink it? Oh, look at the choices the AI is making. Okay, so we got some shocking grass. Just not enough of them. Yeah, I'm just using the end key to speed this up. This is seriously boring. And I just want to see it. Why is it not shocking grass? And a light? Oh. Oh my gosh. Did it just, it just timed out, right? What was the last thing that happened? That was it. My God, the casting AI. Well, there you go. The problem with the nade casters. It's mindless. It blew up. It blew, it blew up. It blew up. So now he's got to call his fetish. But the monolith is still stuck. Now, what happened over here? Oh, ho, 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 son of a gun. The open werewolf and Gijas. Anybody got predictions for this? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what do we got? Turbo Communion? Yes, sir, Bob. Turbo Communion. Sabbath master or Sabbath slave? Sabbath slave. Okay, so what do we got? This is a master, that's a slave. Okay, here we are. Go, we've got a master, and we got two slaves. And they're turbo slaves. If he wanted to bait the fetish, he did it. If that was his goal. And we have Skelly Spam. Do we have anything else interesting? Just a lot of skeletons. An unbelievable amount of skeletons. Okay, one of the questions was, is this enough cold resist? Looks like it is. Yeah, Loggy, I get that it's a casting AI I think I'm just embarrassed at how bad that was. I mean, that was just... Oh, my God. Well. But, Loggy, you did write this casting AI. Oh, now we got some imps.
check the fatigue on the knees? I will. Let me do it again. I'll just jump ahead a bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a chance to watch the whole the whole thing, but. Okay, this is eight. I think I've got to go a little farther. I also have to turn down my headset. The lions are not hitting them much at all. Um, so, sitting at 20 fatigue, not even close to troublesome. What about over here? 45. Oh, and turns up. 45, none. That one's at 163. So that one would have been eventually killed. But okay, against the Turbo Communion, the Lion Warriors are not cutting it. Now, this is by far from over. And a very quick glance. Let's do provinces. Okay. Let's do forts. Let's do income. Oh, but. Were those lion warriors even blessed? Had the fetish died before? I failed to look at that, and I do want to answer that question very quickly. Did they have their bless? Yes, they still had their bless. All right, I need the new turn. Does blood bond distribute the fatigue damage as well? I don't know. I really don't. I can't answer that question. Well, so Niflheim has decided, I think, to siege the fort. Oh, and the fetish. Oh, look at that. We have no more monolith. Where did it go? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Well, what do you guys want to watch? I don't think there's anything to see here. That was Niflheim Giants gave the PD dump. Yeah, big whoopee. But, whatever happens here is interesting. So, and that is Lion Warriors. You have Strength of Giants. And a Swarm. It's a Bone Tribe. And the Mind Burn is working. And that was that. Look at that, boys and girls. We have a dead monolith. We will. Yeah, blessless giants. Blessless giants coming up. No personal regen. Well, holy cow. This is a double slaughter. This is slaughter all over the place. Both pretenders are dead. The swarm, yeah. The swarm did not help here. The fire elementals could have helped, except they can't get past the dumb um, scorpions. And the astral shield. Well, it's a third dead. So I'm just going to speed this up. There we go. Now it's starting to die. And it's gone. And that was that. That was that. Son of a gun. Regen doesn't work on the monolith. Okay. I couldn't remember. I've never really spent a lot of time. I know it doesn't work on everything. It works on some things. The Machaca Bless is not incarnate. Oh, of course, Johannes. I, should, I knew that. What was I thinking? So what does Machaca care? <laughs> the, the fire elementals are helping by burning the swarm bugs. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, anything you want to see. Oh, I got to jump back in there. Sorry about that. Anything else you want to see in this turn, let me know. Um, I think we've seen the key things. There are now a big pack of unblessed Nephil Giants sitting right there. 
yeah, there's some really interesting plays. Some of them are iffy, but, you know, I want to say, though, that I don't think anybody in this whole dueling really has figured out all the stuff about dueling. I mean, my understanding is Dark Wolf has done more dueling than many people, and he had a struggle. Um, Lucid has done a fair bit of dueling, and some things just went wrong. Um, so, you just missed, what did you just miss there, Mark? I, if you want, okay, this was a very interesting turn. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go save this turn, just because it was kind of fun. They got the monolith. It was just Lion Warriors just whacked it to death. It's kind of goofy, but that was all there was to it. So we missed the, well, it wasn't actually interesting watching the fetish die. I didn't find that interesting. But what I am going to do is I'm going to archive this turn in case we want to revisit it sometime later. What turn is this? This is turn 20. Okay, I'm setting an archive here so I can go back to this if I want to. Oh, that's you, Balls. Hey, right. I should have known that. Um, yeah, I should have known that because I remember from when we were doing Google Sheets. I thought you were drunk as a skunk. Were you drunk as a skunk? Because <laughs> I know your opponent, Chaos, was drunk as a skunk. Um, oh, Poulter didn't know that Regen would not work. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're doing it for us. They're giving us a show. I'm all for that. Give us a show, boys and girls. All right, we got a new turn. I archived this turn. But anyways, I thought, Balls, that you and... Uh, I know Chaos had had a lot of wobbly pops. I think it was rum, actually. And I thought maybe you were just getting tired or whatever. Because both of you guys were slowing down and... Um, and it seemed there was more relatively small errors, but little little errors that stacked. Yeah, so, you know, those are factors. I don't play worth a damn if I've been having wobbly pops. My play goes right to crap. I forget my PD and my scripts go to hell. And Oh, was he trying to take this with a thug? Well, I didn't know that. I mean, how do I not know things? It's because I forget more than I remember. Blitz setting is fun. Um, I think the folks that are playing this longer format are probably going to have a lot fewer errors. And some of them are just finding it exhausting. Okay, so I guess he thought he could take out some pale ones with just skeleton spam. That doesn't really work. Not without more gear, not with just a D2. She's fatigued out already. Yeah, if you came in late, you could drop back. That could be, Rob. See, I play significantly different, but I play my Blitz extremely fast. Um, Rail is not as fast as me, Blitzing, or historically was not. But I play Blitz very, very fast. Oh, I know you were saying that Boulder didn't know uh, Regen doesn't work on Inanimate. Um, but anyways, I mean, Boulder's played enough and he's active enough and stuff. Me, I just forget more than I remember, as I've said before. Okay, so Niflheim is working down the fort. He's got the fort cracked and he has no bless. So what's inside the fort? There's nothing really around it. Is there anything inside that fort that can fight off what tries to get through the walls? I'm sure he will be teased about it. I'm sure he will. That is correct. You did spend an entire match suiciding lots of doors. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I didn't drop back out, and uh, I've got to grab a quick bio break here. So let me be sure I don't, because there really isn't anything to see here. So I'll quickly pop my turnout. I'll drop to my away screen, and I'll be right back. Oh, you mean like calling out your ex-girlfriend's name when you're sleeping with your wife? Anyways, I'm back. Oh, I see we have a new turn. Okay, let's see. Did he take the fort... He took the fort, okay, and Niflheim is attacking with just long deads. Long deads, long deads, and more long deads. What the heck is in the water? Oh, an independent sea serpent, okay. Here, there's nothing much to see here. I mean, these long deads aren't going to get very far. It worked. It was cheap. Well, he's got a vampire, okay. I think that's just one of the lucky event vampires. Um, what else we got? Okay, this we do want to watch. Oh, there was almost nothing inside. Almost nothing inside. So Machaka has a, he has to recover from pretty big loss. Uh, briefly. Yeah. So, so Machaka is far from done. But he took a beating, so he's lost a lot of his big advantage. Lost his income advantage. Still got his gems. He's got a big research advantage because Niflheim has rolled out every mage he has. Okay. I want to watch this fight. I need to do my little maintenance trick. But I don't think there's going to be a whole heck of a lot to see here. I mean, there just really isn't anything inside. Yeah, that's it. So, some skeletons. I can speed this right up. Oh, yeah. And some banish, and this is over. Alright, guys. There is just nothing to see here. And I need a serious bit of stretching. Yeah, I've got to stand up and do some stretching. Put this on a wave for a couple minutes. I'll be back.
it looks like this map has quite a few problems. Um, I believe I got this map off the workshop uh, at the request of Polter and Demo, Demo, Demon Steins. Um, let me confirm that. X the workshop. Candy mm, land. Yeah, so I got this off the workshop by Master Rita Rinawa, something like that. And if I if people want to use it again, I'm gonna need to do some serious cleanup. Because yes, this map has some problems. It has more than a few problems. Yeah, that does look like a bridge. And yet there's no connection. And this looks like a bridge, and there's no connection. So, or no, there is a connection there, but there's no connection there across these two. Yeah, this map this map needs some cleanup, probably. Um, but to be frank, I, I didn't really intend to, as administrator or organizer of this tournament, to end up being the map maker. So, guys, if you're dueling, you know, check your map for me. I'll do my best, but I, I sometimes I only get a few minutes to get these maps ready. And I'm just focused on making sure I don't mess it up with Omni or the Throne. So... So we saw that, and I think there's a new turn. And, uh, okay, the long deads aren't cutting it anymore. That just isn't quite going to work. Just long deads. Ha, two Atten's, independent Atten attack. What else we got? So these guys are sitting there, hiding in the fort, probably because until the monolith comes back, Uh, so we don't see the fetish, and we don't see the monolith. We do see a basic army moving out here, and that killed off those few long deads from Niflheim. Do I know where you can grab the map? Yeah, I'll give you the link here. I just looked it up again. Uh, also, oh, just go to my drive. Yeah, do you do you have the link to my drive, Robsy? Um, I mean, I'll give you the version of this map that, that I put up, I put it a couple of places. Anyways, uh, let me get you a link here. Rob, see, I'll post this link in the game. Here you go. Yeah, there's a copy of the map from my drive. Or if you want, uh. Here's the workshop one. And I have no idea who this person is that made this map. Because I don't recognize the art style from any of the other common map makers or other games. So. Yeah, I in, in the dual channel for this game on Lucid's, I put the links. I could put them here too and in the stream but I don't really want to permanently apply the link to my slightly mucked up drive yeah okay good now the version you're looking at here is slightly modified by me um, yeah Candyland yeah okay so there really was almost nothing going on this turn. Pop up and pop back in. Okay, I have to answer my phone, so give me a minute here.
All right, I'm back. Uh, da, 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 da. turn so let me get the new turn and see if we have things of interest to see so i'll pop out have i popped out no nope. i have to pop out and i have to pop back in there we go okay three fights by Niflheim. and you guys are just being sure i don't have my away screen still on so what is the option okay we got giants rolling out and I believe these are unblessed giants. They still have chill. Oh, he didn't even bring a priest with him. So he's using a single Gija. What's the leadership on Gijas? Oh, quite good. And Skelly Spam. Well, this is a risky move. He could lose all these giants very easily. Okay. That happens. Well, that was just killing 6 PD, so we don't learn anything by watching that. Here, he's got another 9 Giants, again with the Kija. And he left his fairly substantial communion sitting in that fort. What do we have here? 6 Nifl Giants, again led by Kija. So he's not, so he's got his priests, I think, all of them calling God. That is my guess. And the Machakan army from over here did not keep pushing. Old move cotton, yeah. Do we have... We see a Buddha, but not the fetish. Something I'm curious about. I wonder what the Hall of Fame shows. Okay. So I think that's the original... That's the hearse. I think that's the prophet. So the only thing on the Hall of Fame are the two prophets. There's been no thugging whatsoever this game. And this is a pretty good sized army. Hmm. Another thing to note here, Machaka's got an independent priest. So that's kind of interesting. And he's putting up a temple way the heck over there. That is quite interesting. All right. Grass wise, anything to see? Okay. Well, it'd be very useful for Machaka to start some counter raiding because he's losing his gem income. He does have the research. So we'll see what his next move is. We don't really have much else we can see. Uh, anybody here viewing that would be willing to do my turns for me? I need to take a break here in a little bit. And these guys want to keep going, and that is fine. It's no problem for me. I just need somebody who can hit open the turn and hit enter and I'll give you my password in the interim what I need to do is set this game to give me backups okay that should be done
You could do it, Rofsi. Perfect. I'm going to DM you. Well, I do, but I'll stop after this. Um, so, because the other 30 games are already done. Or almost all of them are already done. Anyways, I know you'll be good about it. So, thanks, man. So, when I break here and turn off the stream, just take over for me. Okay, uh, sorry guys for not talking for a bit. Um, but you know what? If that is the case, yeah, we should be good here. Okay, yeah, we are in great shape. Great shape. Yeah, thanks a bunch, Rav. That's awesome. Thanks for the help. <clears throat> Hell, I don't care. If you uh, if you want to stream it, you go right ahead. You can always change out. Okay, well, I'm going to swap to Robsy right now. Give him control. So I'm out of here. So I got to get my pants on. I'm running around in my jammies. Not that my jammies are a problem. Yeah, thanks. Oh, this was great. This is great fun. I'm having a blast. But I, I kind of have a personal limit. I try to keep my streams to two hours just so that I stay fresh. And I had previously booked with my mom to uh, do a couple of quick errands. I got to go get some, some groceries. So enjoy, guys. I'll see you very soon. I'm sure.